Hello and Namaste everyone. This is your friend Jitendra Pant and in this video I will talk about seven books that you must read in order to become highly successful in order to become highly productive. Guys, I consider myself pretty average. I have failed a lot of times, but these books have helped me tremendously to lift my game and make me who I am today. If you want to know more about the journey of my failures please watch my convocation speech that I gave at the University of Georgia and the link to that video is put in the description box below but for now let us focus on these seven great books so let's get started so book number 1 how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie this book was written in 1936 and has sold over 15 million copies till date if you are someone who struggles to communicate effectively if you are someone who thinks you have great potential but you hesitate to put your idea forward if you are someone who ends up in fight whenever you try to communicate this book is meant for you if you want to increase your influence if you want to increase your popularity in order to get a promotion or in order to improve your business this book is meant for you this book has a secret of human psychology that you can apply in day to day life in order to earn a lot of wealth and increase your influence so guys here it is again for you how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie and with that let us move on to our second book which is the second book is think and grow rich by napoleon hill this book was written in 1937 by napoleon hill and this book covers the power of unconscious human mind that can be leveraged upon in order to earn a lot of wealth in order to learn a lot of success in order to have your influence among people this book has 20 years of research which that was done on most popular people of that time which includes andrew carnegie henry ford abraham lincoln and people of similar stature and this will help you to understand what goes in the mind of most successful men how do they think how do they leverage upon the power of imagination and how do they use the power of imagination in order to succeed in their life so guys here it is the close view for you third book in this series is the leader who had no title by robin sharma this book along with the monk who sold his ferrari was responsible for making robin sharma one of the most sought after leadership guru the core message of this book is to tell you that your title and your position in an organization is not as important as the power that you have to lead people how good of a leader are you do you have those core principles that can influence people and can get the best out of them if you already don't know how to do it this book is a perfect place for you to land in order to influence people around you in order to lift your game a good advice never grows old a good advice is always useful who says that i think i just made it up for you but anyway let us move on to book number 4 which is the richest man in babylon this book is written by george s clason in 1926 and it covers many stories that are as old as 8000 8000 years old and they were set up in the ancient setting of babylon this book will help you how you can learn financial tips in order to save money some of you might say that jithen i earn in pennies how can i save money guys there is a good news for you if you are someone who is broke if you are someone who is in immense debt this book is for you this book will help you how you can adopt simple strategies in your day to day life in order to increase your saving but if you are someone who has already saved some money and you want to make now big investments on something like real estate there is another book for you by robert kiyosaki which is called rich dad poor dad if you want to learn about real estate this book can be a very good starting point for you so here it is for you rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki and with that let us move on to our book number 5 We all know that how good of a person was Abraham Lincoln we know that how great of a leader was Abraham Lincoln we all know that how wonderful of a president was Abraham Lincoln but what we don't know about him is how Abraham Lincoln a farm boy became the president of United States this book called Lincoln the Unknown by Dale Carnegie will tell you how Abraham Lincoln's first love motivated him to try and run election for the position of the president of united states how he self educated himself with united states laws and how he suffered a lot and had a lot of miseries with his second love which he ultimately ended up marrying and the struggles that he went through with her 
this book will also tell you how a simple man was mocked in the white house when he took the position of president of united states so guys abraham lincoln the unknown for you do not do not miss to read this book this is a great book and this is one of my favorites so with this let us move on to our book number six another book in this series is called a fool who ate his hunger i repeat a fool who ate his hunger this book is the story of shiva a 17 year old boy who ran away from his house called pali and then he landed up in the capital city of india new delhi he washed dishes cleaned toilets sold newspapers in the streets of new delhi just to make a fortune there but failed again and again and again and simultaneously he started to prepare for the position of a police constable a police havaldar in the new delhi police station but the luck did not favor him he struggled and failed and failed again and again and again in between he had small happiness but he eventually ended up having a family where his son viraj hates him for not being able to take care of his sick mom the story of this book starts in early 1970s in delhi and ends up in new york city in 2020 and covers how the struggles of viraj were not a complete waste guys the book is written in a manner that most of you can relate to your day-to-day -day struggle with this book if you are someone who has failed again and again and again this book is going to give you great motivation in order to never give up on yourself and this book is written by me and i have been working on this book for the last three and a half years this book is going to release soon and most probably in early 2020 so keep an eye on that guys a fool who ate his hunger and with this let us move on to book number seven and my seventh absolute favorite in this series is emotional intelligence by daniel goldman guys have you ever wondered how some of the most successful people are not the one who are some of the most intelligent people in the world have you ever seen the topper of your class ended up not getting the best job in the campus placement if yes you would be wondering why you would be wondering why some of the best human beings that you know in your life suffer a lot in their own life they end up helping a lot of people but do not receive any help from other people while the basic reason for this is the lack of emotional intelligence this book by daniel goldman is going to tell you how you can control your negative emotions that are halting your growth and how you can use your positive emotions in order to lift yourself this book is going to tell you when to use your brain and when to use your heart and when to find and how to find a balance between the two in order to be the most successful person that you can ever be so guys these were my seven favorite books but beside these books i'm also putting a list of other books that you can read in order to win friends and influence people in your personal life guys these books are going to help you tremendously so do not do not do not hesitate to invest in these books even if they are expensive this will be worth it trust me my own life has been influenced by them and i can promise you if you read them carefully if you read them line by line they are going to help you immensely so that is it guys this was my advice for you and if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for instant notification also if you want me to make a video on a particular topic please put your comments in the comment section below also let me know which are your favorite books and how they have helped you in growing in your life so guys that is it for now i'll see you again with another great video that comes out as a result of the advice that you give in the comment section so please 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 comment in the comment section and let me know what should be my next video until then goodbye